Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. This is going to be comparing the RAM speeds. So, I recently did pick up uh, 2 8 gig sticks of the Corsair Vengeance. This is 2400 megahertz RAM. This is RAM that runs at 2.4 gigahertz. Now, I've actually got one stick in my computer at the moment, and as you can see with the BIOS behind me, this RAM does actually post uh, at 2400 megahertz. Now, what I'm going to be doing, because you can actually slow down RAM in, in, in the BIOS, so what I'm going to be doing is, yeah, testing this RAM at 2400, 18 66 and also 1333 megahertz and i'm going to be going to be doing some tests in games and also using some synthetic benchmarks to see really what performance gain you do get um, yeah, in terms of FPS and also scores when you're using faster RAM. A lot of people say it doesn't matter but I kind of want to test it myself and see if uh, yeah, games do actually take advantage of higher clocked RAM. But yeah, I am kind of interested in the synthetic benchmarks as well because they will uh, kind of tell us yeah, the, the, the amount of data that uh, yeah, the RAM can actually you know, um, you know, load up and, and write and read whatever. Um, per second, which will be pretty interesting. Anyway, we're going to get into some benchmarks and yeah, kind of show you some of the results. So I think it's going to be pretty damn interesting. So first of all, the game that I tested first was GTA 4. So putting this on maximum settings at 1080p. So yeah, at 30 and 33 megahertz, I got 65 frames per second. 1866 megahertz, 65 frames per second again. And then at 2400 megahertz, 65 frames per second. So it's 65 frames per second across the board. And uh, yeah, I was actually using an in-game kind of benchmarking tool. So yeah, they're, they're all exactly the same. So does the RAM make a difference? Absolutely not. Now moving on to Battlefield 4, this is running at 1080p at the ultra kind of presets, so that's the kind of maximum settings you can choose. So at 1333MHz we've got 158 frames per second, at 1866, 158 frames per second, and then it did go up 2 more frames for the 2400MHz, uh, so yeah, 160 frames per second for that one. So there we are, so that kind of did make a difference, but yet again, it's only 2 frames, so that's probably within margin of error. Now next up, on to Stalker, uh, Call of Pripyat, this again is maxing out at 1080p. So at 1333 megahertz, I got 165 frames per second. At 1866 megahertz, I got 164 frames per second, so it went down one there. And then on, yeah, 2400 megahertz, I got 168 frames per second. So to be honest, on Call of Pripyat, it does make a difference, but at the end of the day, if you're getting 165 frames, you're not gonna tell the difference if um, yeah that goes up by like five or whatnot. So there we are. Now last up, running uh, the uh, Valley benchmark. I, I will say I'm a big fan of the Valley benchmark. I do like synthetic benchmarks. This is one of the things I did actually want to test. So at 1,333 megahertz, I got 83.6 frames per second. Just want to mention this was actually using the Extreme HD preset at 1080p. So at 1866, 82.5 frames per second, and then at 2400 megahertz, uh, yeah, it was 82.7 frames per second. So there we are, guys. That is kind of it. Did uh, yeah, test three games and also a benchmark here. And I can say from the results, should you get faster RAM? The answer is no. But what would I kind of recommend? I would just recommend getting 13, 33 megahertz. Well, unless you're editing, there's no point in high speed RAM. But I will say that I did actually pick up this Corsair RAM just because of the fact that um, yeah, those are born like with me rendering. So that's kind of that. But I didn't get it for gaming. Um, yes, yeah, so that kind of would have been a waste. But I've got 16 gig now, so that's kind of the increase for me and that, that was something that was yeah, again tempting me to get it and yeah, I did get it and uh, yeah yeah the capacity and also the speed is helping me in the video rendering but um, yeah in gaming absolutely not go for 30 and 33 megahertz that's just what I'm gonna say that's it that's kind of the answer anyway guys thank you for watching please feel free to like comment and also subscribe and yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments let me know if, if, if you're gonna thought this would have been the kind of result or yeah tell me if you were thinking the same as me um, in terms of fact yeah you would get kind of like you know, about 5 or 8 FPS more with, you know, kind of high things around, but, you know, it kind of proves not to be that, so, um, yeah, I was kind of surprised, and um, I am never recommending high frequency RAM ever again, quite frankly, uh, for systems with dedicated GPUs, so yeah, I'll keep it there. Yeah, anyway guys, yeah, catch you in my next video, goodbye. <laughs>